In one of his dialogues, the great ancient Greek philosopher Plato corresponded to each classical element of the universe a certain geometrical shape. 1800 years later, the famous astronomer Johann Kepler presented his model of the solar system using the exact same shapes. So what exactly are these figures and what made them so special? My name is Ahmed and this is a brief view about platonic solids. To define platonic solid, we have first to know the definition of a regular polygon. In geometry, a regular polygon is a two-dimensional shape that is 1. Equiangular, meaning that all angles are equal in measure, and equilateral, meaning that all sides have the same length. Now, squares, equilateral triangles, pentagons, hexagons are all regular polygons, and there is an infinity of them because we can just keep on adding sides. Unlike regular polygons, regular polyhedra are three-dimensional, and they satisfy two main conditions. The first is that each face is the same regular polygon. The second is that the same number of faces meet at each vertex. One of the most interesting things about these shapes is the fact that there are only five possible platonic solids in a three-dimensional space. The cube, the tetrahedron, the octahedron, the icosahedron, and lastly, the dodecahedron. The fact that there are only five platonic solids was demonstrated by the father of geometry, Euclid, in his famous book The Elements, and his proof is called the geometrical proof. In order to build a regular polyhedron, we must have at least three polygons meeting around a corner, in this case three squares, of which we can make a cube. But if we add another square to fill this angle right here, we will get a flat shape with a 360 degrees. We can deduce from this that we can build a polyhedron only if the sum of the angles around the corner is strictly less than 360 degrees. And of course that will narrow the possible arrangements of polygons. Three squares around the corner for a cube. Barely three pentagons around the corner for a dodecahedron. Three four and five equilateral triangles for a tetrahedron, an octahedron, an icosahedron respectively. And we can't build a polyhedron using a hexagon or an octagon because the angles are too big, which leaves us with exactly five platonic solids. Plato saw the five classical elements in these solids. On the other hand, Kepler was able to determine the distance between the sun and some of the planets using them. All of this shows the beauty of geometry and how much it is connected to our universe.